So I'm here in West Cambridge, I'm pretty close to Mount Auburn. Um, it's getting close to sunset. I think the sun actually is already set. I just flew the drone around a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take some photos. I'm I'm out with the Rokinon slash. I mean, it's technically a Rokinon, but the also the Samyang, um, 14 millimeter. I'm also shooting on the A7R2. Um, really, today, I mean, I'm pretty much interested in just like like messing around with composition. The 14 millimeter is pretty difficult. Um, and I've taken it out a few times and you know it's been it's it's a super fun lens I really love shooting wide um, you know I think like probably this like setting which is kind of like a weird grassy park next to um, a bridge and kind of a bunch of highways is like not the most ideal location for it but I think it'll be um, I think it's kind of interesting. It would be kind of challenging. Um, I ended up like really kind of like taking a lot of photos of the tower at Mount Auburn, which is the um, building just across the street uh, or across the river there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it, it's really tricky. I think a lot of this, a lot of the shooting here is really just like looking in the viewfinder and seeing like. You know what the composition is like I think like you know I'm kind of looking here and I'm like wow I'm so far away from everything like ev like you can see the building is just minuscule in my frame um, which is just like yeah pr pretty hilarious but um, you know trying to get something frame things up I, this this area is actually really nice because you're always kind of shooting like if you're shooting across the river you're always shooting through plants um, and especially with the 14 millimeter you kind of like really get the sense of like being in the plants because I mean well I, I was literally in the plants um, but you really sort of feel like the plants are all around the shot which I think is really nice um, you know, and you you get a kind of nice blur, and like I I, I I think that's pretty nice. I actually really like the shot that I just took. Or the, I I took a few here. I'll put it up in a second. But it's sort of like there's kind of a little opening. Must be where like a I don't know some river animal is pushing through and getting into the grass and getting in and out. But um, you know the the plants are sort of uh, form this nice arch, and you can kind of see the uh, see the building through it. Um, the mosquitoes are also actually horrible right now, um, so you kind of see me like maybe you'll hear me at some points, kind of like blowing them off or like slapping my arms, and that's why because it's just after sunset and the mosquitoes are really like they're feeding, um, and I I probably should have thought about that, but uh, I just decided to go for it. Yeah, just trying to frame things up. I mean, a lot of a lot of this like little photo walk was literally just about like, you know, looking as I said before, just looking through the viewfinder, trying to find a composition. And this really actually pretty challenging lens. Um, I I'd never really shot so wide before, like, um, and I always wanted to, uh, and so I, I figured I would just kind of like pick up pick up this lens and, and give it a go. Um, I had also tried out the Sigma 14 to 24 and that lens is beautiful. I absolutely loved the shots that came out of it. Um, and honestly, and so I tried it out actually after I had um, bought this Rokinon 14 millimeter. Um, but honestly, I think if, you know, I'm kind of keeping an eye on that in the future, depending on how much I end up shooting with this Rokinon. Um, but yeah, just like, you know, this area is not particularly exciting. I think I'm just like, you know, in a way, I think it's kind of a challenge. It's just kind of nice to like go shoot. This is a shot I really did not have much to do with. So I just kind of made it black and white and added a lot of contrast. It's kind of nice in the larger image. Um, the, the moon is out. Uh, it's... I, I guess it's a, I don't know, is it a waxing moon? I think it might be, um, but it's like three quarters waxed. This is a nice shot, actually. Um, 
bit of a bit of a difference from my usual kind of one point uh, that I usually shoot. These lands landscape photos were just not really doing it for me. Um, or landscape orientation. I was sort of much more interested in, in portrait orientation in this instance. I actually quite like the shot. I think, you know, a lot of these, I'm kind of struggling to find a subject, especially in this sort of like, sort of nothingness right now. Um, and it's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's not a bummer. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be, you know, using this lens, but like the moon is obviously pretty present right now. And... Um, I keep on trying to want, like, kind of like frame it up in my shots, but it's just getting, it's just gets so lost. There's just like no, no chance. You can see a dragonfly flying around me, or whatever it is, a bug. Um, there's a boat club across the way. I think this is a pretty nice image. The colors are beautiful tonight, really. I mean, it's sort of, sort of hard to beat. So this bridge is the Elliott Bridge. It's actually a really, really beautiful bridge. Um, and I'm actually on the, I guess I'm on the Boston side or the Alston side. I don't know exactly what, where, I guess it's lower Alston on the side. Um, sort of, it's pretty close to the kind of Alston Harvard campus. Um, but a lot of really, really nice bridges around here. The shot isn't too bad. I, you know, classic tunnel shot. Um, but still nice colors. Um, yeah, again, just kind of like, you know, poking the camera through, seeing what we can see. Um, I think this shot that I'm taking right now actually turned out okay. Again, just kind of like a lack of subject. Uh, but still, lots of kind of like nice, um, nice framing, nice, nice like, ability to shoot through the vegetation and the plants. I think this sort of the really strong foreground is helping these a lot, sort of adding quite a bit of interest. Um, yeah, you can see the moon. The moon is just like so present. It's kind of incredible. This is kind of the last shot that I'm happy with. Uh, I kind of, I really like the reflection of the moon in this one, because um, you kind of have, I'll, I'll put the image up in a second, but kind of have this like really sort of beautifully shimmering water um, with the moon in the center, and then it's sort of like all dispersed in the ripples. Um, yeah, I really like that shot, <laughs> blowing the mosquitoes off. Yeah, that was kind of it. There was also this like gaggle of geese that I went up to try and shoot, but it just ended up that I, I was just too wide. So this is kind of the board of the, the shots I'm happiest with. Uh, I think it actually kind of gives a nice progression through through the evening from this kind of like, you know, framing of these logs with the moon, the building, this kind of, uh, you know, across the river and the bridge, the boathouse, and then again with the moon. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with these five. I mean, especially just for um, going out and shooting for 15 minutes in the evening.